Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Makena Murioki. If you are new here, if you vibe, subscribe, you know the vibes. Today's post notification shout out goes out to Tanya. Tanya, thank you for always watching my videos and for sharing my videos on your social media platforms. I feel like I should give a disclaimer. I'm filming from my bathroom, so you might hear a bit of echo here and there. Number two, the lighting is not the best because there's no socket near me, so I can't connect my ring light. So I think this will have to do. Third of all, kuna tuandu the washindo akipita ukonje. So if you hear just uh, any motorcycle noise, please, please bear with me. It's, it's just where we live. <sighs> yeah. Today's video is a um, highly requested video. I've had so many people in my DMs asking me to like show you guys my skincare routine. Nasi Wongo, I even have receipts. Like legit people have been, a lot of you have been asking me and I was a bit hesitant about doing this video because one, I'm not a dermatologist, two, I don't think my skin is at its best. Um, I don't know what you guys see on the other side of the screen because main person Nikki Jangalia. Okay, yeah, the forehead is a bit clear and shining and big so... Maybe that's what you guys see, I don't know. <laughs> that of all, what works for me might not work for you. So without much rambling, <laughs> turns a video. Also, I did my makeup just for you guys because you're special like that. So come on, just subscribe. Please subscribe. I thought it made sense if I came to you guys with a face full of makeup so that I can take you through the entire process. At the end of this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys um what i do on like a daily basis so whatever you guys are going to see me do this is what i do for my pamper routine for my baby girl facial <laughs> spa treatment i don't know yeah once once in a while not every day well the first step is definitely removing my eyelashes which are floating i don't know if you guys can see because i don't know how to put on lashes i gently pull my eyelashes the first step is breaking down all this makeup i normally use the kentist 100 percent virgin coconut oil so what this does it breaks down the makeup and makes it easier to remove so i put it in my palms then like warm it up for it to become liquid like that then i just use it all over my face i also have a mirror here where i'm going to be like referring from time to time i know there are a lot of theories as to why you shouldn't use coconut oil on your face i've never had um, like any breakouts as a result of using this on my face Once you feel as though you've massaged in your product for a good duration, um, preferably 60 seconds, you go into the second step which is using wet wipes to remove now the excess makeup. For that I normally use either these makeup wipes by Huda or Hanan water wipes, they are baby wipes but water wipes they don't have any alcohol because alcohol dries up your face i go in with as many wipes as i need to ensure like my all the excess makeup is out of my face i'm going to start with my eyes Not all the makeup is out you guys so you have to like cleanse yet again and for that I normally go in with my Gany Micellar Water. This is how it looks like. It's the Gany Micellar Cleansing Water. So I normally use this in the cotton rounds. If you don't have cotton rounds you can just use cotton rounds like this. Here's my cotton round. Then I'm going to go in with my Gany. And then I go in cleansing my face yet again. The 
this is how clean my cotton now is after cleansing with the Ghani skin active micellar water is now when i go in with my soap cleanser Garnier even and matte this is the Garnier skin active even and matte gentle cleansing foam let me put my phone on silent yeah. so this is the cleanser i use i love it because it forms me hey hold up wait a minute it forms me what really Ooh. <laughs> it forms really easily and uh, it's affordable and it gets the job done. You can use this with your hands, but on days where I'm wearing heavy makeup, I just prefer to use my spin brush. This is how the spin brush looks like. It uses batteries, it scrubs your face, and the bristles on this particular one are really soft, so it doesn't damage my skin the brush part normally rotates is the low setting as you can see and if you want it to go even more faster you can set it on the high setting then turn over here so i'll start by wetting my face a bit also with this product a little goes such a long way so ensure not to use so much that is actually enough For this next step, I normally go in with my Garnier Skin Active Pure Active 3 in 1 masks. This is how they look like. This is the charcoal one. Garnier Skin Active 3 in 1 charcoal, charcoal mask. This other one is the Garnier Pure Active in one they both act as a wash a scrub or a mask but as for me I prefer using this as the mask and this white one I use it as my scrub or my exfoliator I normally use them alternately so if this week I use this one the next time I'm going to be using this one and uh, since the last time I used this white one today we're going to be going in with this black one This is how it looks like once you've put it all over your face. I'm going to leave this in for 10 minutes on my face till it dries. Then I'm going to come back and rinse it with you guys. I'm back after 10 minutes. And yeah, this is how the mask looks like once it's dry. You'll just feel when it's dry because it's becomes impossible to like talk and smile so this is how my face looks like after rinsing the the mask the next step i'm going to be toning toner using a toner and for my toner i normally use yet again the Garnier skin active this is how it looks like if you don't have a toner you can just use um Rose water, basic rose water. What a toner does is that it rejuvenates the skin because you find that after all these processes that you've done, you kind of irritate the skin and it leaves your face feeling dry. So a toner brings back the moisture. So yeah, I just use my hands for this. and sure your hands are clean before touching your face. You can also use a cotton pad. Just use a generous amount this is how it looks like it's clear and then it has a uh, that consistency uh, i read somewhere that you're not supposed to like apply stuff on your face just heavy the way they used to do when you are kids, treat your face with love. You're supposed to do it in an outward motion to avoid getting wrinkles. Sheet mask is the next step. And for my sheet masks, I normally use garnet. Yes, again. 
At this point, if there's anyone from Ghani watching, sponsor your girl. These are the sheet masks. I have the Ghani Skin Active Tissue Mask Hydra Bomb with pomegranate and hyaluronic acid. This is how it looks like. And the pink one is called the Ghani Skin Active Tissue Mask Hydra Bomb Chamomile and Hyaluronic Acid. Also, a tip for you guys, before you use your sheet masks, put them in the fridge for about 5 minutes before or 10 minutes before to give that cooling effect, I think, later. <laughs> so wet. <laughs> ah, Makena, grow up, grow up, Makena, grow up. I'm going to leave this in for how long? 10 minutes. 15. 15 minutes. In 15 minutes. So I'm going to get this off. So I'm going to massage the remaining serum, which is on my face, into my face so that all these traces penetrate. <laughs> Sometimes I just look at my forehead and laugh because. What's going on? Don't forget your neck. Unless you look like a grandmother, yet you're 20 years old. We don't want that. I wouldn't even wish that my worst enemy. <laughs> or will die. No, I wouldn't. Or will die. The second last step is moisturizing. I go in with my Nivea Soft Moisturizing Cream. The other product is the Bio oil, Vaseline oil. As you can see, my skin can Aisha have such a little amount remaining. In Kamadi Misha, you can just have to cut it and force issues. We have our final step, which is sunscreen. Don't forget your sunscreen. I normally use the Neutrogena Hydro Boost sunscreen and the Nivea sunscreen. They are both SPF 50, which is a good thing. Just that sign you see, so there's no point in wearing sunscreen when you're going to bed. But during the day, whether it's hot or it's cold, don't forget your sunscreen. So yeah, that's my skincare routine on a normal day. I just Follow three basic steps cleanser, toner, moisturizer. These three steps are enough if you don't have so much makeup on your face. You guys learned one or two things. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys. Bye.